Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Astra is India's first beyond visual range air to air missile indigenously designed and developed by DRDO and manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited. It is a fifth generation missile which will replace Bampal R77 and Matra Super 530D missiles that Indian Air Force fighters are equipped with now. The missile costs just 7.5 crore a piece, a fraction of cost of Russian, French and Israeli BVR AMs that Indian Air Force are now armed with. Today, we are going to talk in detail about all the versions of Astra missiles, their technical features and production timeline. So, let's get started. Astra MK-1 is powered by a smokeless single-stage solid fuel propulsion system that can propel the missile to a speed of Mach 4.5 and allows operation from a maximum altitude of 20 km. The maximum range of Astra is 110 km in head-on chase mode and 20 km in tail chase mode. The maximum range is achieved when the missile is launched from an altitude of 3 km. When fired from an altitude of 2 km, the range of missile drops to just 44 km and when launched from sea level, the range drops to 21 km. Astra at present uses Russian active radar seeker having a homing range of 25 km. It can lock a target of 5 square meter from a distance of 15 km. The Russian radar seeker will later be replaced with indigenously developed KU band radar seeker which will have lock on range between 13 to 20 km. Astra uses inertial navigation and driven by fiber optic gyroscope and terminal guidance through active radar homing. It is capable of receiving mid-course correction through a secure data link. Astra is also equipped with electronic countermeasures which will make jamming of its seeker difficult. It is also undergoing improvements through alternate propellant casting. Improved propellant will increase the burn rate at terminal stage thereby enhancing its no escape zone. Last year in July 2020, the Defense Ministry approved 248 Astra beyond visual range air to air missile. These missiles are to be integrated with Su 30 MKIs of Indian Air Force and MiG 29K of Navy and has been extensively tested with both these fighters. HL has started working on the integration of Astra missiles with Tejas and its captive trials are expected sooner. DIDO is only a short distance away from developing Astra MK2 which will have longer range of 160 km and will be powered by a dual pulse solid rocket motor. Astra MK2 will carry forward most of the technology developed for Astra MK1. It will use AES seeker, the tried and tested wings, controls, guidance and warhead of MK1. The trials of Astra MK2 are expected in early 2022. For the faster testing and integration of Astra MK2 missiles, DRDO will pre-produce 25 missiles and test it on 4 Su-30 MKIs. There are several offshoot versions of Astra MK1 being planned including within visual range infrared homing missiles tentatively classified as Astra IR with a maximum range of 80 km. The new update is that this missile will have two variants with no change in its dimensions but internal design of missiles will be different. The version 1 of Astra IR missile will feature thrust vectoring TVC to perform higher G maneuvers at close range combat and have better bore sight angle. The second variant will be more advanced with a dual mode seeker and will use both radar and infrared imaging for terminal stage guidance making it more lethal with better kill probability. Back in March 2021, DRDU has tested solid fueled ducted ramjet SFDR technology successfully which will enable India to make its own long range air to air missile which could mirror the capabilities of the best missiles in this class like MBDS Meteor. Astra MK3 will have the newly developed solid fuel ducted ramjet technology with a range of 350 km. The SFDR is an advanced technology than ramjet. It is using air breathing ramjet engine which can vary thrust according to the requirement increasing the hit probability. 
DRDO has also completed the ground trials of the booster and the ramjet propulsion system for short duration. The long duration test of the propulsion system is planned after which the missile will go for the captive trials followed by the launch. The prototype of Astra MK3 which is under development and expected to start trials in 2024. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.